Hi, I'm Ben Frederick, Director of Music at St. Joseph Seminary College in St. Benedict, Louisiana. The subject of this video today is the bane of every musician's existence, and that's music reading. It doesn't have to be as scary as you think it might be. Everybody tends to divide themselves into one of two categories, music readers and non-music readers. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you're a non-music reader, you can learn. It's never too late. If you are a music reader, you and I both know that you can be a better music reader. You can be more proficient at reading. There are two categories of music notation. There are two different ways of writing music that we sing on a daily basis in St. Joseph Seminary College. One of those forms of music notation is chant notation. Chant notation is an older system of music writing. It uses a four-line staff with symbols on it that are visually connected through square notes. These visually connected units are called neumes. The key to interpreting chant lies in the shape of the neumes themselves. We also have modern notation, which perhaps more of you are familiar with. Modern notation is a newer system, and I say newer meaning within the last five or six hundred years. It's a system that uses a five-line staff with oval-shaped notes as well as a host of other symbols and words that may be written in the margins. The key to interpreting the music in modern notation is often in the symbols and the words given by the composer. Also know that we have two different systems for identifying pitches. One of them often used by singers is solfege or solfeggio, and the solfege pitches are Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. What goes up must come down. Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. That is equivalent to the musical alphabet, which starting on C is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Those are two different ways of expressing the same concept. That concept being that music moves in a scale-wise pattern of whole steps and half steps. This pattern repeats every seven notes. Practice using solfeggio and using the musical alphabet. Be able to use them interchangeably. This is a crucial, crucial skill in learning to quickly and accurately read music. Let's give a real life example from the liturgy. This is Victime Pascali Laudes, which is the Easter sequence. First, we'll demonstrate Victime Pascale Laudes with chant notation. The starting note is Re. Victime Pascale Laudes Imolent Christiani. Try that slowly on the solfege, starting on the re, do, re. Re, do, re, fa, sol, fa, mi, re. La, sol, mi, sol, fa, mi, re. A little bit faster. Re, do, re, fa, sol, fa, mi, re. La, sol, mi, sol, fa, mi, re. This will take plenty of practice to be able to do proficiently and at sight. So at the beginning, just start by writing in the solfege into your chant notation. Now, 
Here's the same example in modern notation. Vitime Pascali laudes, imolent Christiani. On the letters of the musical alphabet, D, C, D, F, G, F, E, D, E, G, E, G, F, E, D. Maybe a little bit slower. D, C, D, F, G, F, E, D, A, G, E, G, F, E, D. Spot check any sections that may sound inaccurate or out of tune and practice alternating between those notes. When you're comfortable with the pitches by themselves, add the text back in. Vitime Pascali laudes, imolent Christiani. It may sound obvious, but the best way to get better at music reading is by reading more music. So this will take much practice to drill the skill into your workable vocabulary of skills. I'll put some links in the video comments so you'll be able to uh, practice recognizing notes quicker and be able to apply that to the music that you're singing on a daily basis. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing.